Alright, we're going to crank here again. And I'm over uh, little dirt bikes. Hey! He's my, he's my top welder there. He, uh, he, he, can, he makes a lot better than I do. You're not even going to have to put down the lathe on the belt. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> so, uh, he's just going to clad weld this little, uh, what is that, about, about an inch and a quarter? Yeah. And make it even with that. With his little, uh... I'm afraid, 170. 170, 100, mine's only uh, 130, his is 170, so he might get a little better penetration. Might get a longer weld. Yeah. All right, buddy, watch your eyes. Looks pretty good, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, we, I can, we, uh, you're gonna get a mic, right? And, uh, yeah, I was gonna cool it down and then uh, put a mic on it and make sure we're good all the way around. Hmm. And as long as you don't have any low spots, you should be good to go. Yeah, I'd rather have high spots than low spots. Right. I think, you know what? I think I'm gonna grind it before I, I mill it because I kept snapping them little oh, carbide. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's not easy to cut. No. All right, let it cool, buddy. All right. That looks pretty good, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna take it a little cool. I'm gonna take it home and uh, throw it on a lathe. See what we can do with it. Sounds pretty good. All right. See you guys back at the shop. All right. We're back at the shop. I got this in a vise here. I'm holding it with my uh, leather soft jaws there. Pretty good. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grind this and try and make it a little smooth. Because when I, I did the the brig shaft, you know my my uh, tool bits are, are real tiny. I don't know if you see here, but uh, Christ, they're they're only the size of a the eraser on a, a pencil. And you can't even see it disappeared. And uh, when it's rough like that, it, it tears these carbide things up. I don't know if you see the little chip. Once you get a little chip like that, you know it's shot. It's no good. So I got I got a three eight uh, tool here, and I think I can get it to work in this uh, tool post. So uh, I might, uh, I'm going to grind this down fairly smooth, get all the big ruts out of it, and then uh, maybe get uh, pretty close with this, and then I'll, I'll maybe I'll fine tune it with this thing. We'll see. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is probably too big a job for that little lathe, but uh, it'll handle it. It'll do the job. All right, let's uh, get the grinder out and make this smooth. All right. We're over here at the lathe, and I made a few passes, and, it, and it's cutting nice. I'm surprised. Yeah, a lot of guys are asking, you know, they want to see uh, this thing do some machining and see how it operate. And uh, I got that bit now. I was able to get that 3-8 bit to work. So, uh, let's see here. We'll turn it on. Watch your sleeves. And then uh, we'll engage it down here. And let it go by itself. Not gonna take much of a bite. See a little handle moving down here. Yeah, it's a pretty good little mill for what it is. I mean, a little lathe. You might not even see a cut. It's gonna take such a light cut. But that's what I gotta do is take light cuts with it. I can hear it. I know, put some oil on there. I only got one hand right now. Guy. And roll them back. 
Let's see what it looks like. Watch your sleeve. Alright. There we go. Let me zoom in a little, a little easier. So it's cutting nice. It doesn't look it on the camera, but that's it's pretty smooth. Alright. Let me cut it down to uh, to the 7 eighths there, and we'll take a look at it. And then maybe uh, we'll get some more cutting on there for you. Uh, yeah, this thing's this whole lathe is shaking, but I don't have it mounted. You know, it's only sitting on a piece of wood. So whatever's cutting, the whole thing is shaking. Like I say, this thing this thing should actually have uh, some counterbalance and stuff on it. But uh, hey, it is what it is, right? All right. All right. A lot of guys always ask me, what, what kind of lathe is this? It's an Atlas. I think they call it a Mark II. It was made in the 70s. And it was the upgraded model to the Craftsman 109 or the Atlas 109. And uh, they didn't make it very long. It's probably the, the end of the line for this one. But it actually works pretty good. It does a good job. So, uh, yeah, the, the 109 is probably the most popular small lathe ever made. Almost everybody has one of them. All right, yeah, we're... we're we're closing in on uh, seven eighths here, so uh, I'll take another cut and see what it does. There we go. We got smoke. We got special lubricant here. I think it's. Uh, 10W30. Smoke stops, and it's we're there. Watch your sleeves. Watch your sleeves. Yeah, you guys doing a nice job. Nice job. Like I say, we're just about down to the seven eights there. All right, I'm gonna shut you guys off in there. Uh, gonna make a couple more passes. We're going to full length now. I started at uh, 7 eighths, that's uh, 0.875, and we're down to point, about 0 0.840. So we still got quite a ways to go. We do have a couple of uh, little divots here, and I think by the time we get there, I think uh, it'll be all gone. So uh, we're looking pretty good. All right, let's take another cut. I'm going to keep cutting, and then uh, I'll turn you guys back on later. No sense in watching this, right? Alright. 
we're down to 79 thousandths and got a tiny little uh, pock mark here and one right here and uh, like I said we're going down to 75 thousandths so uh, I don't think I'm going to worry about it even if there was two little two little marks you know I mean it's only going to hold a clutch you know it's not like it's a machine service or anything like that so I think we're just going to leave it there we're not going to worry about filling it and hopefully by the time we get down to 75 thousandths it'll, uh, it'll be, be gone all right, I'm going to take it right down. All right, we finished it up there on the lathe, and uh, I'm happy where it came out. The kit hit it dead nuts on. Didn't have to do any filling or anything. Here's a three-quarter bushing that goes in there. Nice. And I got the clutch. The clutch isn't going all the way, isn't going to go all the way on because it has a, a little titty inside there for the keyway. But... Uh, that goes on and that, uh, that's tight as can be. What you're seeing there is the, the plane, the clutch, not the, not the bushing. So, uh, so that's going to work out well. Alright, I guess uh, we'll see if this will uh, fit in the little baby mill and we'll put a little three quarter keyway in there. Three sixteenths, I mean, three sixteenths keyway. Alright, we'll see you over there. Alright, I set the crank up here in my baby mill and it just barely makes it. You can actually see the counterweight here I have sitting off the end of the, the plate here, you know, the mounting plate, just so I can get enough travel here for that end mill. And it goes and it gets tight right there and it stops just about at the end, so I would probably be able to use it, but uh, even with the end mill, you know, sometimes you're not going to get a, a good cutter. It would be good for what we're doing here, but uh, you're better off with a, you know, a keyway cutter. And I had keyway cutters, and I thought I had the right one because uh, we've, we've cut 3 16ths before. And uh, it turns out, I, I did have a 3 16ths, but uh, Mike borrowed it, and it's his, at his house. So, I even got a, a brand new uh, 3 16ths cutter here, but... Uh, I figure I got to go see Mike anyway, and uh, when I was cutting into this, I, I was hitting like hard chips, and I think that was because it was breezy today. The kid welded this, and uh, I think we might have to anneal this anyway. That way, I don't ruin a good uh, keyway cutter. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, take this out of this machine here and uh, bring it over to Mike's and put it in his big machine, and uh, it'll probably only take a couple minutes. So All right, maybe I'll, maybe I'll stop and pick the kid up on the way over there. So. We'll see you over there. All right, we're over at Mike's. We brought the crank over Mike's here. Got the crank, the clutch, and here's his cutter. He's deciding whether to use the cutter or uh, an end mill right now. Yeah. And I got the kid. Hey, Tubes. There you go. What's going on? So, uh, I guess, you know what? I, I think we should kneel that, Mike, because uh, when, I was, when I was cutting this, it actually chipped my... Uh, my really? Yeah, in there, huh? yeah, there is, because cause when Bill... Uh, did this it was like 60 degrees out that day and uh, yeah. we were letting it cool by itself but every once in a while you get a breeze kicked up and that's probably what what hardened it so hmm. I mean just to save the the cutter you know it, it ain't gonna take much just to anew it okay all right yeah I definitely don't want to mess that cutter up so all right there you go Mike's annealing that and he's not even using his big torch I guess uh, this, this crank ain't worthy of uh, that oxygen and acetylene. Yeah, you'll he's, do that. he's only using the propane. So that'll show you, you know, you really don't need the big heavy equipment to, to get something done. Look at that. Look at that bitch glowing red. Then he's going to let it cool down on its own. Probably going to wrap it with a towel so it cools down even slower. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the heat on it and just bring the torch away and, you know, just let the, let the temp come down and then wrap it up, like I said. And, Try to keep it as warm as possible for as long as possible. Yeah. Put it in the oven. Yeah. There you go. Alright. Mike's uh, he's got it all set up here. He's doing his first cut. It's a little noisy outside. He's getting his septic tank sucked out. That was the generator. <laughs> I know. I want to see what he said. We did get the crank to a dull red, and we let it cool down really slow, so. Uh, I don't know how long his 
these videos, but uh, I'm going to let him finish that up. We'll, we'll show you when he gets done. All right. All right. He's got his final cut going here. Yeah. What is the depth of that, Mike? We did it in two passes, and uh, the, the finished depth is 95,000. Uh, what's that? Uh, 332? No. It's, it's a bit over that okay. for some clearance. Keep going, buddy. Hold on. All right, Mike's checking the piece of keyway there. How's it fit, Mike? It slides right in. It's a little snug, but it's a good fit. Wow, if it slides in, and they call that dead nuts on, Mike. Yeah, no slot. Yeah. So we're set 95,000 deep. This is a. This was just over. Actually, this was 3 16 on the nose. Huh. That, that cutter was about a thousand over, so I'm surprised it's a. It's a snug fit, but that's fine. You know, no worries. Yeah, no, nah, perfect. All right, I'm let's take, take it out. out. Clean the groove and we'll uh, do a test for the All right. All right. Looks like Mike is done. Bring it over here in the light, Mike. See, see how it looks. Give it a. We'll give it a test. All right. Grab that clutch on your way out. Okay. It looks Pretty like good. he's, he's deburring a little bit. Yeah, there's a little bit of that. That cutter, you know, it's it's pretty sharp, but it leaves little little nicks or burrs around that. It's around probably the more the shaft the than the cutter. <laughs> Well, we did hit a little hard spot. Oh, yeah. It powered through, and it looks pretty good. So the clutch should fit straight back on there like it did before, because it was a it was a pretty good fit. And yeah. And the clutch actually does have a little notch or something in it. It does. It's got a little titty in the middle, so you can line it up. Right. So that fits on there nice. And then you see our, our key. I got this. I got a little piece of key there. So Three sixteenth key. Slide that right in, and now it's even got an Allen screw on there. Yeah. There's a yeah exactly. So huh. now it's uh you do the shaft. Wow. There you go. So now you go. We turned now we got, we got a functional engine out right. of We turned a useless generator engine into an engine you could do anything with. All right. So, no big deal. Good job, buddy. Thanks. All right. All right. I guess uh, next video, I'll uh, I just I'll throw this thing back together, and then we'll, uh, we'll have something. All righty. All right. See you guys later. All right. See you around. Take it easy. All right. Enough of this.